Hello and welcome to Politics Today on Channels Television. I'm Sheung Joaquin Baloye. Tomorrow, the delegates to the National Conference will converge on Abuja, the nation's capital city. What may become a historic moment in the nation's history. A lot of expectations are on the National Conference, and many Nigerians will be hoping that most of the challenges confronting the nation will find solution through that platform. But much later, we will be discussing that on the program tonight. The Southwest has been a very critical region in Nigeria's political history. Since 1999, the political control of the state in the region has taken some interesting dimensions. From the AD to the PDP, the control of that part of the Southwestern region of Nigeria has been up and down. Well, President Gulag Jonathan was in Kaduna State in Nigeria's northwest region recently, and he spoke about the intentions of the PDP, the ruling party, in retaking the southwest and also some part of the country. Well, 2015 elections is a very critical one, as a lot of Nigerians are looking forward to that moment. Well, how easy would that be, considering the opposition party, APC, having five of the six states in the region. What significance could the Southwest region have on the game in the 2015 general elections? What are the dynamics of the game this time around? Can the APC, which has five of the six states, uh, can uh, be, be, be taken easily away? Can the PDP on their own win back those states? Well, let me just show you a few of uh, those of the dynamics in the southwestern region uh, of Nigeria. You know, we have six po geopolitical zones. Southwest region has six states. And out of these six states, we have Lagos, Oyo, uh, Oshun, Ogun, and Ekiti states. In all of these states, um, let's take a look at the 1998 election. What happened after that election? You see... Uh, the states that, uh, the, how the parties took over the states, it's AD all through. That's how the situation was in uh, uh, 1998 as we start up the 1999. And as soon as uh, we kicked off the first dispensation, 1999 to 2003, things were changing. And we saw the AD move to AC. And we saw that particular uh, uh, control and uh, the AD taking majority in the southwest region being broken down. But at the moment, let's take a look at how this actually played out eventually. Well, at the moment, this is what we have in the southwestern region, except for Undo State, which has a Labour Party. All other uh, states in the southwestern region of the country is taken by APC. But mind you, in 2007, all the states, except for Lagos, was taken by PDP. What happened between 2007 and 2011? That's what we'll be discussing on the program tonight, when PDP had five states of the six states in the southwest. Just how important is the southwestern region? Let me tell you, six million is the voting population of Lagos alone. 2 million is the voting population of uh, your state, and in Ogun State is over 1 million. But 19% of the nation's voting population is in Southwest region. Well, PDP has a lot in its hands, isn't it? But how important will the Southwest be for the general voting population? And at the end of the day, when that election comes, how will PDP fare in this election? Can APC, in fact, be able to withstand? the federal might of the PDP. That's our focus tonight on the program, and many more. We'll also be looking at the national conference on the program today. My name is Sean Okimbale. Welcome to the program. Just after the break, Mr. Babatun Legbada Masi of the People's Democratic Party will be joining me. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Well, thank you for staying with us on the program tonight. A lot of uh, issues are on the table for us to discuss on the program tonight. As a Earlier told you there's a lot of um, game to be played by the political parties ahead of the 2015 elections. Well, don't, don't forget, in 2014, later this year, we'll be having elections in Ekiti and Oshun State, which belongs to the Southwest, that takes our focus tonight, the significance of the politics of the Southwest region of the country. But just before we get too deep into that issue, tomorrow, 
the president will be launching, will be kick-starting the national conference and delegates across the, from across the country will be converging on the nation's capital, Abuja, and uh, several issues are on the table to be discussed. The modalities have earlier been uh, released. The delegate list have been released also. There's been a review of the delegates list and all of that has been happening. But a lot of people are asking questions as regards the, some of the issues on the, the national conference. But before we get into it, let me introduce you to my guests on the program tonight. I have uh, Mr. Babatunde Badamosi. Thank you for joining us on the program tonight. Thank you so much for having me. It's always Just a before, to be here. before we get into the issue of uh, the politics of the Southwest, let's start with the national conference. How do you feel? A lot of years, since 1914, a lot of Nigerians believe that we need to get together to talk. And this is an avenue, isn't it, for us to sit down and talk about those challenges that have been confronting us as a country. How do you feel as a Nigerian that here comes an opportunity for us to talk as a people? I've always said that when the British amalgamated Nigeria in 1914, it wasn't with the best interest of the people of uh, the two protectorates of Nigeria at the time in mind. It was with the best interests of the British Empire at the time in mind. Now, so we've been handed uh, a lemon, as it were. And here is an opportunity now. President Goodluck Jonathan has been kind enough to present us with an opportunity to turn that lemon into lemonade. And I, I dare say that it seems Nigerians are very keen to grasp the opportunity with both hands, even those who had opposed uh, the, the idea of a conference uh, uh, in a spectacular vault farce uh, as against their earlier position have suddenly, you know, re assaulted again uh, back to the position where they are now sending delegates to the conference. So it's a good thing. It's, you know, it's an opportunity to you talk. Know, so, some people had uh, fears about the conference at first when President Jonathan came forward. You remember on the, on the 1st of October last year when he says, look, there's going to be a national conference. A lot of people actually may not believe that here's what they heard at that time, if they heard right or not. But it, when he went ahead to inaugurate the committee and the committee submitted a report and eventually there was a lull and at the end of the day, the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Senator Piaz Ayimbaos, actually came forward to say, well, this is other modalities. And again, the date has been set. Tomorrow is actually that date. But with all of the no-go area, especially for uh, the fact that we cannot discuss the divisibility of this country, what are your views about that? Well, um, I have to say that uh, at this point in time, when we have a conflict going on in the extreme northeast of the country, as well as a parallel conflict going on in the middle belt of the country, we do need to be extremely cautious um, as far as the issues that are discussed. And I would, I would want to believe that that would be why uh, the divisibility or not of Nigeria would be taken off the table for now. I would hope that at some point in future uh, that would be brought to the table if we ever have this kind of conference again in order perhaps to uh, discourage certain groups, ethnic or otherwise, from you know, coming with the arrogance that they perhaps have some uh, uh, divine right to you know, ride roughshod over the, the, the rest uh, of the groups that form Nigeria. Interesting. A lot of things that comes to mind, again, is the issue of uh, the representation. I mean, uh, some people have asked that, uh, I mean, actually, we've gone past that anyways, but the issue of ethnic nationalities being the basis for the representation at this conference. But that, it seems we've gone past the delegates I at this that, conference. I thought that was an opportunity missed. Really? Yes. I, I think that you, was You think we should have actually I, I, I feel made that the delegates should, uh, I, representation? I, I think that we should, have, we should have just beaten the bullet and allowed, because we, all, we, we, we were forced together. That's the truth of the matter. The British did not sit down and discuss with us whether we wanted to be together as a nation. They simply forced us together. So and you so, think that... Uh, and, and, and so there, there definitely is a clear feeling 
of commonality amongst certain groups. And from that feeling of commonality, they antagonize other groups, okay, and believe that somehow they have a greater right to a, big, a bigger share of the so-called national cake as it were, for whatever reason. And it is on this basis, in my opinion, that we ought to discuss. But then again, uh, the reason that it might have been taken off the table is, of course, because of the uh, prevalent security situation in the extreme northeast and in the middle belt, where uh, marauding bands of uh, mercenaries, disguising as Fulani Katuriaras, are going around and uh, slaughtering uh, the ethnic nationalities in the middle belt. The Biram are at risk, the Thieves are at risk, you know, uh, from, from these people. And uh, I think that it's time uh, that perhaps, you know, the, the military authorities took the bull by the horns and, and got rid of these people once and for all.